Let's take a look at one final example, example 1.4 from the book, Drinking Age Law May Encourage Minors to Drink. Okay, why don't you stop the recording here and read it if you haven't done so already and write some comments about what you think about it. Now that you're back having written your comments, let's read through it pretty carefully together. The 21-year-old drinking age might actually encourage minors to drink, according to a new study, which showed that 81% of underage students admitted using alcohol while only 75 percent of the students over 21, 21 being their drinking age, said they consumed alcohol. Also, 24 percent of underage students were heavy drinkers compared to 15 percent of those of legal excuse me, compared to 15% of those of legal age considered heavy drinkers. That is, let me get that out right, that is 24% of people who were underage were heavy drinkers, but only 15% of those who could legally drink considered themselves heavy drinkers. Now what do you guys think about this argument? And one thing we see is notice this argument uses percentages, uses various statistics to try to come to a conclusion and it's almost a scientific conclusion as to whether drinking age laws encourage or discourage people to drink. And many arguments that we come across use statistics in this way and we have to be very careful in analyzing statistics. And we're going to find that statistics arguments sometimes turn, that is they're either good or bad depending on whether the statistic facts that they're citing really lead to the conclusions that they claim. In addition to which the other thing to be careful of, and it was similar thing that we a similar point that we made on the last example, the insider traders, the inside traders example, is that notice what the point is that the person who wrote this letter to the editor is trying to make. And notice how careful how careful they are in couching their language. That is the twenty one year old drinking age might actually encourage minors to drink. Now, no, according to a new study. Now notice it's not saying the 21 year old drinking age does encourage minors to drink. It's trying to cover its back. That is, mitigate the strength of the conclusion. And we, when we're looking at arguments, we have to consider nuances of lang in language. You know, very. Uh, we have to consider them very carefully to make sure we're being fair to the argument. Now we've seen a bunch of arguments, and what I want to do is spend a couple of minutes now thinking about how we go about analyzing all these different kind of arguments in all the different contexts that we've seen them. 